And Governor Ron DeSantis announced today his plans to push for more first responders in the classroom. While some applaud this idea, others tell ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams that is not the way the state should fill those vacancies. Pasco County Schools entered the first week of classes with 350 teacher vacancies. One week later, 195 openings remain. Which is much better, not as good as where we were this time last year. It's an issue schools statewide are facing. The Florida Educators Association estimates 8,000 teacher openings in the state. Now Governor Ron DeSantis is laying out what he plans to do. We're going to be pursuing with the, uh, the next legislative session uh, to build uh, off our efforts uh, to increase recruitment and retention of great teachers. Governor DeSantis unveiled three initiatives Tuesday. He wants to waive certification exam fees for first responders with a bachelor's degree. They'll also get a $4,000 bonus. The program is an expansion of veterans to teachers passed last legislative session. DeSantis also wants the legislature to pass a teacher apprenticeship program, allowing anyone with an associate's degree to spend two years with a teacher before getting their bachelor's degree to teach. And lastly, plans to allow high school teachers to get their master's degree for free, all to allow more dual credit courses taught in high school classrooms. All plans Pasco County Superintendent Kurt Browning is applauding. I believe that the initiatives that the governor is proposing today will go a very long way uh, to helping us recruit and retain great teachers uh, in Pasco's classrooms. But Hillsborough Classroom Teachers Association President Rob Crete isn't on board. The governor's plan right now is not that route. He's actually weakening our public schools by opening up the gates to have less qualified educators. Crete says teachers spend years training, learning how to best care for their students. We wouldn't ask teachers or support professionals to fight in the armed forces without the proper training, but yet here we are doing the opposite and asking them to come in and work with our students. Uh, we welcome them, but we want them to be properly trained. Florida Educators Association President Andrew Spar says the governor's initiative should be focused on pay for the longtime teachers. The state currently ranks 48th in the country. What the governor should be talking about is instead of waiting till the next legislative session, uh, he should be talking about what he's going to do today. What does FEA's work to help out these teachers look like? We should be working to increase pay of teachers and staff, and we should be working to bring back those teachers who are certified who have left the profession. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.